At this point, we've learned a significant amount, not only about the seaboard and equator, but about the ideas and concepts behind them. Now that we know what we're working with, it's time to move into a digital audio workstation and see everything in context. Similar to the conversation we had earlier in the course about the MIDI protocol and the larger ideas at play, let's have another bird's eye view discussion before we move forward, this time about the hardware and software tools themselves. I'm gonna show you how to run Equator as a plugin, how to edit and view the MIDI and MPE data that you'll be capturing, and ways to bypass potential CPU issues you may encounter. I'm gonna be working inside of Bitwig, but you can use whatever DAW you'd like to complete the assignments. Bitwig is one of the first DAWs to support MPE, which is the multi-dimensional polyphonic expressive data that the Seaboard sends, and that per note modulation we've been talking about throughout the course. As of right now, which is April 2016, every DAW deals with receiving or not receiving MPE data differently. For instance, not every DAW receives polyphonic pitch bend, so when you play more than one note, you'll experience glitches. For information about how the Seaboard and Equator will work specifically in your DAW, to view setup guides and for helpful workarounds, you can visit Roly's knowledge base. The Seaboard is one of the most advanced MIDI controllers available and Roly is at the bleeding edge of this type of music tech development. The hardware and software provide a very deep connection to the sound and that connection is constantly changing and evolving.